comes with her heavy blaster, uh, which fits in her hand very nicely. Well, I would do if I didn't knock it out. It does fit in her hand. But we'll go into the figure details first. Like, th th this wasn't a live stream. This is like, you could edit that out. Why did you, you're here to sell the toy. W why did you leave that in? What, what are you doing, Al? Al, what are you doing? <laughs> Folks, it only took around four years, but we are now finally getting a Fugitive Doctor collector figure set. Character Options announced this today on their website. Doctor Who, the Fugitive Doctor and TARDIS collector figure set for $39.99. It comes with a Fugitive Doctor with a gun, haha, <laughs> and also a TARDIS. And look at this, a 5.5 inch scale articulated figure of the mysterious Fugitive Doctor with her, very, with her outfit as depicted in the show, with her own division blaster accessory. The TARDIS has opening and closing front doors and comes with new revisions, including a slightly angled roof replacement lamp and small undercuts between the roof pillars there's also one easter egg in the pack for collectors to discover and enjoy so this is now available on the character options website and also character options their youtube account dropped a video showcasing the figure hi there al Dura, creative director for character options hi, and i'm here today to introduce you to our new online exclusive doctor who set but there is somebody who's actually far better placed to introduce this set. So I'm very briefly going to hand over to them. Hello, um, I'm Joe Martin and I am the Fugitive Doctor. I know it still sounds weird when I say it. And I've just been handed this box with a version of me. <laughs> the fact that this took four years for us to be graced with this video, this image, this figure, is a crime against humanity. And I will be reporting the BBC and Chris Chibnall specifically to the Human Rights Committee in the Geneva Convention. Mm, this is the Fugitive Doctor doll. I'm official. It's official. No one can ever take this from me. This is amazing. Look at the deep. Folk, why, why, why are people in the chat calling her mom or mother? What are you, what's going you tell on? on this and I haven't even opened the box yet. Oh my God, look at this, look at this. Look at this packaging. And I've got the TARDIS in there as well, and it looks like my TARDIS. I think it's my TARDIS, yeah. Amazing work. So, thank you, the Fugitive Doctor, for that introduction to our new set, which is, of course, the Fugitive Doctor and TARDIS set. Obviously, better late than never. I've, we've talked about this before. I think that there was um, an issue with the previous regime of doctor who and in terms of like licenses and giving them the ability to make action figures of like the fugitive doctor of the 13th doctor and others uh, from that era of doctor who so this is like a better late than never thing and i think it's really really cool that the fugitive doctor is getting their own tardis however character options have got a bit of a trend of dropping a hotly anticipated doctor who online exclusive figure and then the website just does not let you pay for it it does not, it just breaks, the website crashes, there were 404s all day. People were literally unable to go online for the online exclusive figurine and pay their 39 99 getting free delivery on all UK orders over £25. They were literally unable to give character options their money. And even just before going live, I did try to see if I could get one of these and the basket was just breaking again. This has been live on the character options website for just under 10 hours and people are still having difficulties getting this online exclusive set now in terms of the actual figure itself obviously i don't have my hands on it but people have been making complaints that it's a little bit overpriced and that this is like a cheap tardis prop apparently it comes with a speaker grill as if it was a sound like a, a, a tardis that you press a button and it makes the warp warp sound but it, there is no sound it just has the speaker grill even though no sound is coming out of this thing and also there's this video as well from character options where the spokesperson has a great difficulty trying to put the division gun into the fugitive doctor's hands comes with her heavy blaster uh which fits in her hand very nicely well i would do if i didn't knock it out It does fit in her hand. But we'll go into the figure details first. Like, th th this wasn't a live stream. This is like, 
you can edit that out. Why did you? You're here to sell the toy. W w why did you leave that in? What What are you doing, Al? Al, what are you doing? Character options have had a bit of a trend recently, where you go on their website for a hotly anticipated item. For example, the Peter Cushing Dalek toys that they had a few, uh, like a year or two ago. The online exclusive 14th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver as well. And going on the website and the servers just immediately crashing. Just the servers just buckling under the clear interest that Doctor Who fans have for these online collectibles that are online exclusive. This isn't a case of like, for example, maybe character options has got 50% of the stock and then they give 25% to Amazon, 25% to HMV, for example. If they did that, like for example, they gave them to HMV, you could even see these TARDIS collectors and these figures set in the Fugitive Doctor out in the wild on shelves and stuff like that. So people who aren't just termini terminally online Doctor Who collectors are able to get these. You can already go onto eBay and find scalped versions of these from people who were able to get them online for £90 on eBay. And this, this listing actually took several hours to appear on ebay because the website was so broken people were unable to get their fugitive doctor figurines that even scalpers were unable to get them to post them on ebay and sell them at more than twice the markup now to be fair if you wanted to stop scalpers from selling your products online at extortionate prices making sure that they can't bloody get the items is a is a, you know I think that it's a hammer approach when all they needed is a, is a scalpel, but I can't deny that unintentional success. So having a broken website, a website that breaks every time they launch a Doctor Who online exclusive thing, like the 14th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver, it's it's frustrated the fans to no end. It's it, The fact that it seems to be only Doctor Who that this happens to, because character options, they don't just sell Doctor Who stuff. Stuff they sell, Doggy, the one in a million robot dog, the fingerlings, friendship at your fingertips, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, etc. But it's only the Doctor Who stuff where the website just seems to perpetually crash whenever they launch something. Maybe they should think, okay, next time we launch a Doctor Who thing, maybe we should uh, increase capacity on the servers. Because people want to be able to buy these things. They want to to get these collector sets they want they, they, they want to give you money character options but it seems like your website your infrastructure is so bad that they are literally unable to do it i was actually able to get a fugitive doctor set before they posted everything on social media they posted them on social media at like 11 o'clock but i was in a group chat and people were posting that the listing was on the website at like 10 to 11 so i managed to pick one up then i did get one later in the day as well and i'm gonna I've, i promised that one to tharry's because he was trying genuinely all day to get online and trying to get one from the character options website but it just wasn't happening you couldn't pay you couldn't get to the basket you couldn't check out so in some cases you couldn't even get to the bloody website you even had uh, people like george shared a uh, formerly ace creeper future showrunner of doctor who unable to get the fugitive doctor figure but still being charged for it money left his bank account and he received no confirmation that the order had processed that's just impeccably bad form like it, it, it's just the case of like we want to give you money for these things and if your website your infrastructure is not working why make it character online exclusive why not have like half of the stock on your website and you know offload some of them to amazon to hmv like it's kind of like whenever they release a new collection box set or a steelbook release and my newsletters my email inboxes get filled with like zavi hmv and others saying new doctor who sets just dropped so i can sort of like pick and choose from there but even those who are on the character options newsletter were unable to get their hands on the fugitive doctor and tardis set it was just incredibly bad form and i know like the we're, we're, at the end of the day, we're talking about action figures here. We're, no, we're not talking about Gujitsu, Deep Sea. Ew, ew, that sounds wrong. No, we, we are talking about figurines here, but character options are not just like an indie small company. They're dealing with a major BBC Doctor Who license, and it, it would just be nice if their website just, just worked. And that even if their website was like they couldn't increase the capacity there are ways to make this work there you know there, there are ways to sort of divvy up the load as well it just seems a bit it just seems a bit disheartening that we wait four years for a hotly anticipated release and fans are just genuinely unable to get it i might have to resort to scalpers on the internet because of character options inability to sort of like future proof and then they release a video master uh which fits in her hand, 
very nicely. Right, we did it, fell in, knock it out. It does fit in your hand. <sighs> Al, well, what is. <sighs> Schnooze in the chat. My online exclusive 14th Doctor Sonic broke, like, stopped lighting up, and I had to get a refund, and apparently I'm on a list to be updated when they have more in stock. Still disappointing there. Oh, yeah, I ordered my second... Uh, my Doctor Who Season 2 collection box set uh, from Zavi, I think, and the box arrived partially damaged, but because it was a limited edition collector's thing and had sold out within a couple of weeks, there was no stock for them to replenish it and replace it. So I just now just have a damaged season two collection box set and I, I just can't I, I can't get it repaired or fixed or replaced because they've run out of stock. Like isn't like the idea of just like online exclusives or, or limited edition runs with like zero wiggle room just like I, I just a really bad idea. Like, what is, like, <laughs> I, I feel like this shouldn't really be a controversial opinion, but it's, it's just really weird. Now, and it's just really frustrating because it's a figure that people have been after for a while. Like I said, this has kind of been four years in the making, but character options just completely bungled the release. Like, even people who don't like the Jodie Whittaker era might enjoy this figure might enjoy having a brand new doctor on their shelves or another tardis or something or it's uh, i don't know the, the, the character options also teased that there was going to be an announcement on tuesday morning as well but people are assuming that this just is the announcement and they just they, they just they just jumped the gun with it for whatever reason yeah there's only two on ebay the website is so broken that not even the scalpers are able to get a hold of it jesus now for chat do I get the Fugitive Doctor and TARDIS collection figure set? Or do I get the Graham O'Brien action figure? People have been saying as well that, like, uh, uh, we wish that, like, somebody had... Somebody like Hasbro had the license to do these Doc 2 figures as well. Because, yeah, maybe they might be more expensive. But we'd actually be able to go on their websites and buy them. Buy all of the Grahams. Add to a basket. The, the maximum quantity allowed for purchase is one one graham one graham bradley walsh has not done 20 seasons of the chase and brought his son to co-host the new series of gladiators just so i could be told that the maximum quantity that i could purchase of him is one god damn it i can't I, that's riled me up to no end it's the meta crisis graham <laughs> no the 1975 zygon set I'll, f I'll find it i'll find it zygon don't you mean warriors of the deep 1984 oh you tell you i'm i'm blind sorry friends of the 13th doctor and terror of the zygon set do you get both of these to be fair that that's a pretty good deal it does it come with zygons you've got a brigadier who's this is this benton yeah sergeant john benton I mean, it's a good enough likeness that I get it. Three Grahams make a Dan. <laughs> I can see... <coughs> I can see Bradley Walsh on two channels at a time, but I can't have two action figures. Graham is being rationed. <laughs> Daddy Benton to you. Why is the chat so thirsty this evening? It's like the end of time, but everyone turns into Bradley Walsh. That would actually be... Oh, that would be such a fun, like, Doctor Who gag, wouldn't it? Like, you, you bring an alien as a companion or something, and, like, the Doctor's doing something in the living room investigating whatever, and the companion alien is just watching TV. And it's like, who... Like, they just... There's this Irish guy with a with a moustache and a beard who's hosting every single show on TV. I think he's an imposter. Oh, no, that's just Graham Norton. You know, he just hosts everything. And she, oh, okay, okay. Like, that That's a joke waiting to happen, right? Do you think that there's like a massive character options warehouse here where they just have like a thousand unsold Graham O'Brien action figures? What's he even wearing in that? What outfit is this from? I swore he never wore that. But that's the thing. It's such a nondescript costume. Arachnids in the UK. Graham. I mean, they've got the expression down pat. Yeah, that's that's a pretty good likeness. <laughs> but the costume? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can kind of see it. Yeah. Okay, maybe this is Arachnids in the UK, Graham. <laughs> Where his iconic costume from... 
from Arachnids in the UK. <laughs> I just shit my pants. <laughs> in the chat. I just shit my pants. <laughs> oh god oh why did that tickle me so much oh god i'm crying oh the set complete is sergeant benton oh so it's not it's not the brigadier then it's just a soldier i thought that was the brigadier ink online there's no beating about the bush this is just a repaint of the captain yates figure that came in the previous unit set Obviously in the same camo style gear as the Sergeant Benton. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. <laughs> Chat, you are, you are so on fire tonight. But of course, Captain Yates wasn't in that story. So instead, to try and disguise him, they've given him slightly darker hair and given him a lovely 1970s moustache. So there was a kind of an outcry, I think, when this got revealed. Some people laughed. A lot of people laughed and uh, some people were quite angry, like, why have they done this? You know, what the hell? This is a ridiculous figure. And yeah, I can see what people are saying. You know, it is kind of funny to see that. We OK, uh, OK, well, po point's been proven. I don't want to show too much because that would just end up being content stealing. Uh, but yeah, go, go check out um, Batman match. Go, go, go do it. Ch check it out. Ch check it out if you haven't already. If for whatever reason you, ha you are not subscribed to Batman match. Even Matthew Toffolo, Batman match, was struggling to um, get a hold of a Fugitive Doctor set. And he's like, I believe, doesn't he get sent review copies? Doesn't he get sent stuff as well from them? I'm kind of surprised that they didn't send one to him to unbox or review or something. Of, okay, chat. Warriors of the Deep set. Three almost identical Silurian figurines for $29.99. Why just get one when you could have three? Why? Why not? We, we, it's just it's just leaving silurian money on the table isn't it oh <laughs> uh, one second what is this al again what's al got to say about the three silurians Hello? yeah three silurians um, yet only one graham this is the great replacement in action it turns out that not my doctors were right folks Silurian set so this is brand new it's a set featuring the three silurians from the said same story ictar Skybus and oh god they have names don't they shit listen can you get more than one i can add five warriors of the deep silurians to my basket which quick maths that's 15 silurians but i cannot add more than one bradley walsh we used to be a society, didn't we? We used to be a country that I could be proud of. But I, I just can't anymore. If I buy... F this is technically a business expense, right? Can I justify this to the tax man? If HMRC, like, come knocking on the door, do I just, like, barricade the door with all of my Silurians? Oh, no. What? The maximum quantity allowed for purchase is five? Oh, God. Why, are they afraid I'm going to scalp them? <laughs> Do I have that right? Wasn't that 14th Doctor figure? Wasn't... Oh, yes, I remember. We talked about this at the time. The, a new... The 14th Doctor action figure. And it's like... Meet the new 14th Doctor, everybody. It's not David Tennant. It's... It's his cousin... David Landlord. <laughs> David Tennant. David Landlord. David Tennant. David Landlord. Why did this face come back? <laughs> this is the, the, the Landlord. Victorious. My... My cheeks are genuinely sore. I've been laughing and smiling so much over the course of this live stream. Thanks. Thank you, folks, for two and a half hours of madness. We've got one more segment. Yeah, we've got one more segment left. And then we'll uh, we'll call it a night there.